when I first started investigating Manus AI, I thought it was another chatbot competitor to ChatGPT. You know, another window that you could ask it to do something for you and it'll present back some information. But honestly, having accidentally built a Chrome extension from just a quick thought and a quick prompt, I realized that this is actually something quite different. And so in this video, I'm going to give you the Cliff Notes version of Manus AI that I've spent weeks trying to figure out and testing for myself so you can work out in a matter of minutes whether this is actually going to be a useful AI tool for your work. So what is Manus AI and how does it differ from ChatGPT and Claude and Perplexity and those sorts of models? Well, this isn't just a chatbot. Manus is at Actually, an autonomous general AI agent that has been created to help you with a wide range of tasks. So that means, yes, it can do research and it can do research with 100 AI agents at one time, but it can also do data analysis and coding, plus pretty much act as your assistant to help you not just gather information and present it back to you, automate repetitive tasks in your business and build simple applications or websites and a whole lot more, which we'll go through in this video. So Manus really is a conversational AI agent that actually it can turn your thoughts into real things, whether that's a presentation, an app, or even automate stuff for you. So that's pretty cool. You can see all the different use cases that people might actually use it for, from life stuff to research to data analysis, content creation, programming. You can actually go through some of the other stuff that people are making and building with this tool. And as I said as well, I actually managed to build a Chrome extension. I'm going to show you that process through this video. Now, if you're like me when starting with this sort of stuff, you might think, oh, I don't want to pay for another AI tool. And yes, Manus is a little more expensive for its monthly plan. It's like base monthly plan is $39 here, which gives you credits, allows you to run more tasks concurrently so you can do multiple things at once um, and have extended context and all that sort of thing and priority access. But honestly, if you just want to start trying it out based off what we're going through today, there is a link in the description where you can get 500 free Manus credits. And I believe as well, you get 300 free credits every day to start using it, which will allow you to actually start building some cool things and testing it out properly for yourself. But even at $39 a month, if you find some workflows that actually automates for you or cuts your research time down dramatically, then you might think that that's a pretty good deal if it's saving you hours of work at the other end that you can use for more high leverage tasks or to go out and earn money elsewhere. So just before we jump into actually start building some stuff, how does Manus work? Well, it's an autonomous AI agent, which means it kind of uses the power of AI that we've all been experiencing in models like ChatGPT, but this can go much further. It can analyze, it can plan, it can generate, execute, and improve and learn based on what you're doing. So what does that mean? Well, over here, we'll jump into the main chat window and start to get a deep look at it. You can also get it as an app on iOS and Android as well as Windows and maybe Mac as well. Now from the chat box, it may look like there are fewer settings, but honestly, Manus does a lot of these stuff automatically itself. As you'd expect, you can actually add files from Google Drive upload, or you can actually add Figma files. So if you're creating UI designs and websites, you can design in Figma, add them into Manus and start building websites. There's also the ability to switch between different agent modes. So we can just use it as a chatbot if we just want to ask questions and sort of develop plans and get information and our thoughts straight before actually building stuff. Or we can use the agent mode, which actually runs and tackles complex tasks with sometimes hundreds of agents out there doing stuff for you to deliver your results. Or you can do what I do, use the adaptive mode, which intelligently adapts for your instant answers and agentic execution. On the paid plan, you can switch between speed and quality. Obviously, the higher the quality you're looking to use, then that's going to use more credits and more expense as you go. Now, below the chat box, you've got a select list of things that you can do. You can generate images. Cool. We can generate slides, web pages, actually start manipulating and generating spreadsheets, data visualization, video, audio, and a cool button called Playbook, which takes us even further, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's go through and test out some of these first ones. Image, for example, it's going to give us some sample prompts here, but we can also select our style. So we could ask it to be realistic image, storybook, wool, all sorts of things in here. We could choose realistic image and let's pick one of these uh, travel insurance conceptual ad. So create a con creative travel insurance ad, show a paper airplane unfolding into a pro protective umbrella mid-fight with tiny travelers safely underneath 
tagline coverage that travels with you. And by the way, if you're looking for ideas of what to prompt, then a lot of the prompts I use in my videos are actually stored in Elliot's mega prompt chest. This has got over 90, nearly 100 prompts in here for business and marketing and solopreneurs to start using. There's a link in the description below where you can get all of these for free, but you can see there's tons of stuff in here for you to start using. But we'll run this image sort of marketing image prompt first. And honestly, in just a few minutes, it creates something quite cool with these mini travelers in a paper airplane umbrella sort of thing. I mean, we could improve the prompt and get some better results, but you can see the power in a few seconds of how you can go from nothing to having created something. Now, if you're wanting to start creating web pages and landing pages for your brand as well, then you can actually use the web page function in here to actually gather data and display it really quickly. For example, we could actually not just build a web page, but an investment analysis tool as well. And what's cool is you can deploy this to a public URL. So you could actually build something and have it live on the web to share with other people in a matter of minutes. You can see the agents are doing multiple things at once here from researching and planning the tool, designing the user interface, going and finding information and creating the full experience for you. And what you'll notice while you're building these sorts of stuff, this happens on the Chrome extension that I'm going to show you in a minute, it actually tests out the application and the things it's building to make sure they're working before actually giving to them to you and deploying them, which is a handy extra step. You can see it's gone through quite a lot of different steps here from developing the front end to implementing the data visualization and the analytics and testing the application. A fundamental step that a lot of other tools that they just don't do. They just spit out the code and hope that it kind of works. And now it's done. What I like about Manus as well is it gives you extra documents along the way. It gives you all the app code and everything like that, of course, but it gives you several files including sort of breakdown and key findings, whether that's in research or what it's been building. So you actually get documentation along with everything that's being built and done with your work. And of course, we've got our final investment portfolio analyzer, which is our nice dashboard, which we can click through. So it can go off and research, or we could actually provide our own spreadsheets, link it to our own spreadsheets to build this sort of stuff. So look, we've got a really nice breakdown, a really nice reporting dashboard on our portfolio, our investment portfolio, and some risk analysis, market comparisons, um, correlation matrix, loads of stuff in here that has been built in less than six minutes to actually deploy something. And the handy thing about this is we can actually click edit so we can go and ask Manish for quick changes through our apps as well, rather than having to prompt and rebuild from the start again or getting lost in big sections. We can get it to change words or tweak things as we go. You might be thinking, thanks, Elliot, but I'm more of a spreadsheet kind of guy. I don't really like those fancy dashboards. Well, Manus has got you covered as well because you can use their spreadsheet feature. So you can actually start building, using, analyzing, and creating spreadsheets from scratch. So if you're the person who likes to drown in spreadsheets, but you know, spends way too much time actually editing and updating and building them, then Manus can help you cut through that so you can enjoy your analysis much quicker. So again, based on our investment track, we could actually get it to create a retirement planning tool that is friendly to use and easy to understand for novices and help us plan our financial future. So you could use this for all sorts of things, whether it's profit and loss in your business, financial forecasting, anything you want to create a spreadsheet around, Manus can do that at the touch of a prompt. Is touch of a prompt a phrase? I think it's touch of a button, but we'll go with touch of a prompt today. I won't bore you with showing you what a spreadsheet looks like now because I want to move on to something a little bit more juicy that I kind of built by mistake the other day, and that is my Chrome extension. Now, if you go back to new tasks here, you'll actually see in the more section that there's a thing called playbook, and playbook is where the magic really happens with Manus because it gives you some of the best templates and setups that have been built ready to use. So you've got some standard stuff here, you know, AI website builder, market research tools that we've sort of just been into a little bit. We've got some wider research. We'll get into Manus's wide research in a second. But one of the cool things, perhaps the best thing in here, alongside resume builders and fact checking, GitHub repositories, sketch to photo converters, is Chrome Extension Builder. Now, this truly blew my mind. Honestly, this is one of the best things I've built. And please create a Chrome extension that add the description of what you want to build and display results in display method, whatever you want that to be. And I would like the interface style to be style preference, and it will start building. So it's kind of ready to use. You can see some of the use cases below. 
email extractors, academic text studies. But what I built from literally this prompt, please create a Chrome extension that analyzes the SEO of a web page and interface that's modern and techy. It went through and in, I don't know how long actually, just a few minutes, it built out my working Chrome extension, even gave me instructions on how I should use it and how it works, of course, the extra documentation. But I'll show you, we can actually download this and reinstall it in a matter of seconds. So I can download that Chrome extension, add it into my set of extensions here. It's called SEO Analyzer Pro. We can go find a web page, for example, my SEO consultancy page that we coded up with Claude the other day and run an SEO analysis on this page. We can actually get this Chrome extension to scan this page to give it an SEO score to check through all the different tags and structures, the technical elements on the page, the content on a page. And I have a working Chrome extension that I can use, I can sell, I can create, and I can improve on for my business in a matter of seconds off this short prompt. That's what it output. And it downloaded it, it tested it to make sure it worked and everything worked as I wanted it to off that short prompt, which is insane. So if you've got any ideas that you're like, oh, I wish I could be able to do this real quickly in my browser or grab that or check this, you can ask Manus to build you a Chrome extension and it will go off and do it quickly. Now, one of the cool new features from Manus that's come out recently is something called Wide Research. You'll have probably have heard of deep research on tools like ChatGPT, on Perplexity, Claude, but Manus has something, its own twist on it called Wide Research. And this was introduced actually in July, and it allows you to handle large-scale complex research tasks by breaking them down into smaller subtasks. So essentially, you get potentially 100 or more agents and AI agents working within Manus to actually do parallel research tasks. So for instance, as it says here, you can ask it to compare 100 different sneakers and get a dedicated sub-agent sub to research each one and feedback information. So you can do tons of research at once. You can have the system use multiple intelligence sub-agents to work together. So they can divide tasks, they can divide and conquer, share information between themselves in real time to coordinate their findings and deliver results for you in your research report. Plus, of course, you can then go on to the next step and get your output structured as reports, presentations, dashboards, all the stuff we've just been talking about, as well as applications. For example, I wanted it to go and do some research on manufacturing companies for sale in the southwest of England. Um, I wanted it to go through major broker sites. I wanted it to go through companies house to identify potential you know, signals for retirement sales, look at financial statements, check news and industry sort of information to see if there's any signs of companies that perhaps are looking to sell or recent deals to get an understanding of the market right now. And to be fair, it took quite a while for it to do this, but you can see it actually went through 15 different tasks to get the final information for us, or at least well over 10 tasks. I think I skipped a few because I got bored of, and was impatient and actually created, again, it created a CSV file, our spreadsheet of information that we wanted, um, broke down all of our research from different areas. So it went off to different things to find this information and collate it all back together. You could also do this sort of stuff for lead gen. I did it for find fortune 500 cto information and create a contact database which it did an okay job of like it went away found all the different company names the cto's name their their title what they do their linkedin address any recent company news so we could actually if you're running cold outreach campaigns or something you can actually go and get it to find linkedin profiles um, recent company news sources of information and actually rates the confidence level of what information it's producing back for you so you know whether you can kind of rely on this information or not so anything research-based that you want output in a useful format manus is crazy good at and if you just want it for some life stuff as well there's ai fitness coaching so if you were to go into this for example you'd see you can actually use a little drop down here to create your prompt so if you're worried about prompting you don't even have to think about it i'm a complete beginner i'm a intermediate fitness enthusiast, male, I'm 34 years old, my height, uh, weight, everything in there. And it's going to go and create a personalized fitness plan for you and deploy it onto your permanent URL again. So you can have everything ready to go and follow. Plus, of course, we could build this out much further and say, hey, make me an interactive dashboard so I can actually track my goals along with my fitness exercise plan. So you could keep this updated and keep this working with you, as you just saw, from your business finances to your personal life. Build whatever you want that 
solves a problem that you're struggling with in your life. It really is a tool that aims to, as they say in their marketing, bridge mind and action. So even if you've got messy thoughts or you've got an idea that you want to try and execute, Manners is a good place to start because it won't just confirm your idea and give you some nice text output and do some sort of brainstorming with you. It'll actually go and start researching, analyzing, and most importantly, bringing your idea to life, actually building something tangible out the other end to present or start using. Now, deeper into the settings of Manus, there's all sorts of things in here. You've got your usual you know, UI settings in here, but you can actually run scheduled tasks. So you can have things written so you can have things running on routine, whether that's providing summaries of news, creating dashboards or updating, creating spreadsheets based on some information every week. All those things we just discussed, you can have them set to run on a schedule and even connect other apps up to it. So that means we can go down into connectors here and add connectors. Now we can start connecting Manus to the outside world. So we could have it start helping manage your Google Calendar. So pulling stuff from your Google Calendar, helping you understand how to opt optimize your time efficiently or vice versa, pushing stuff into your Google Calendar, drafting replies, searching through your inbox, summarizing all your email threads, threads to manage that more effectively. We can use Zapier. That means we can help connect it to automated workflows both in and out. So again, we were talking about spreadsheets. We can start using Zapier with the power of Manus to start automating loads of tasks through our life. I mean, I can't even think of the amount of things you could do right now, but honestly, those sort of connections kind of add almost unlimited sort of automation power as well as using tools like make.com make.com is an automation workflow so tapping again manus's wide research and ability to build things through into make gives us another leverage of power from our automated workflows plus we've got integrations with you know crms like hubspot we can start building sales dashboards get marketing insights and analysis direct from hubspot using manus or even if you're an accountant and you want to use it with zero there's an integration for that too to generate reports build personalized financial business insights for your business or your clients. There's so much built in here already, even notions in there, monday.com for your project workflows. Plus you can connect up custom APIs so you can use it with other third-party services and actually link it into other models, other LLMs as well, OpenAI, Anthropic, Perplexity. So we can use Manus to maybe do some of the planning and the strategy analysis and get Anthropic's model to start building stuff, create voices for 11 Labs. And something that I really want to try is hooking it up to Hrefs to actually start using it to build automated SEO strategies and track performance and create reports. Or if you really love automation, then of course it's got its NA10 and super base automations so you can build pretty much anything you want with Manus integrations. Now, a cool new feature that Manus has introduced is email integration. So we can actually send emails to our Manus bot address and that will create tasks and start running jobs in Manus. So I don't even have to log into this anymore. We can connect things up. I can drop it an email. I can forward it an email and it can start working on tasks for us. Honestly, I've spent quite a lot of time testing and trying Manus out. I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface with some of these integrations and things we can build, but you can get started as well. There's a link to some free credits in the description as well for you below to give you an extra boost to start testing this stuff out for yourself if you don't want to pay for an initial subscription.